Hey guys, welcome to 2019 and I decided to start out the year here on YouTube by doing a series of videos every week showcasing my kayak camping gear. Now every week I'll be putting out a video, it'll be itemized showcasing everything that I take and how I pack it, um, the reason behind what I take. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm also going to make a playlist so people can find it. I hope this helps somebody. If not, but it's going to be fun to watch. So join me in episode one here is going to be my tools and electronics. Let's get to it. So guys, when it comes to tools, I'm usually pretty simple about it. We'll start out with a saw. Um, this is optional for me. The main thing I use this for is making a, a tripod for cooking or cutting some branches to uh, prop up my tarp. But um, I just carry a small saw here. I have a lot more room this year with my kayak so I'll probably be looking to upgrade to a larger silky saw. There's not a lot of problems getting firewood, so it's not like you need a saw or an axe or anything to process your firewood. The second is my Leatherman Skeletool, and uh, this is self-explanatory. This is just an awesome tool to have whether you're backpacking or camping or just out in the wilderness. The next is going to be this is a CRKT Ruger. Now last year, um, for years and years, I've carried a CRKT, the, the neck knife, the Bowie. Unfortunately, last summer I lost it in the river. So I just purchased this. This is nice and small, very sharp, does locks in there very good. I keep this on my body and uh, basically opening packages and just small tasks. I have a repair kit that I made out of this Altoids tin and it has got repair patches, it's got tenacious tape, everything the safety pins, needles, just everything that you might think. Um, there's some wire in here too that uh, you might have to repair your gear or your boat or your kayak or straps all sorts of type of stuff in there I always take this with me um, this could be a lifesaver at times now last is an optional item that I take and this is uh, more uh, robust and um, I don't always take this this is something that I might leave behind I might take uh, but this is nice for processing uh, small wood for uh, a wood stove, other items. But like I said, I don't always take this. So that's what I take as far as tools. Like I said, I don't carry any axes. Um, my next option is probably a bigger saw. Um, that's very helpful if you got um, room to store it in your kayak. Um, but let's get on to the electronics. Um, but before we get on to electronics, um, I will be doing a later video that shows you where I keep everything, like <clears throat> the Altoid tin repair kit normally goes in my miscellaneous, I keep the knife on my body, I normally keep this in my life vest, um, this in my pack, but in a later video we'll be showing you how I pack everything. So as far as electronic items go, uh, the first two items, um, this is just a clip-on flashlight. I don't have a brand, but you can it's magnetized, you can stick it to stuff. It has a high, low, and then a flash. This I normally clip onto my life vest. And then the other item that's not in a bag is my Lucy lamp and this normally just gets strapped to the top of the kayak so it charges throughout the day. I have my headlamp 
and I've used these Energizer headlamps for years and years. They've worked perfectly fine. I've had no problems with them. I keep some spare batteries for the headlamp, an extra cord, and this is normally for charging my camera. This is a multi-cord that I take. It's got a phone and camera charger there. And then I take a regular longer charging cord. Last in these items is my my anchor charger. And this was a gift from Ben over at Living Survival. I do not have the output of it, but it is a larger charger and it will work for several days charging my phone and my camera. This is normally how I store or pack away. I use a Ziploc baggie. I like to overdo it here um, just because it's my electronics. I have this what's called a seal gear bag. It's got a little clip on it. I will double seal it. I will put my electronics in a Ziploc and then we'll throw them into this bag here. Roll it up and then that's pretty much my electronics gear. I can hang it off something but this normally goes into my backpack. And like I said the exception is the Lucy lamp here that gets strapped to the top of the kayak to charge and then my little lamp here that gets hooked on to my life vest. Now, I don't know how waterproof this is. I have had it wet. It has fell in the lake and it still works. So, um, I just like to keep this on my vest. So, I hope everybody enjoyed episode one of Kayaking Gear. Um, I'm going to be putting out a new video next week. I hope you guys look forward to that. And then again, at the very end, I will be putting it all together, showing you guys how I pack everything and um, where everything goes. So until the next time, thank you for watching and take care.